Hey everybody, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back to Let's Replay Final Fantasy 1. In our last episode, we defeated the Lich over in the Cavern of Earth, and have saved the Earth at last, and now we're off in the town of Crescent Lake, where we have a lot of new stuff to buy, including high potions! Let's nab some of these real quick, I'd say 30 is good. Um, buy, buy some tents as well, if you so need to, but I don't at the moment. Um, let's go and solve my staff here real quick. And then, yeah, we got some, yeah, new weapons, new armor, new spells, new everything to buy here, really. Uh, let's see here. The Mind Thrower Shield, if you didn't find the one in the uh, Cavern of Earth there, but I said before I was going to buy one anyway, so there we go. And we can finally get a shield for our Red Mage here, so we'll definitely nab that. If you have a Thief as well, buy the Butler for him, too. Uh, Mind Thrower Helm, already have that. And the Mind Thrower Gloves, so let's get those two. We're going to get that out in our new stuff here. Let's see. There we go. Uh, Coral Sword, um, actually, yeah, I do want to use that around this, around this area, so definitely keep that on him. Um, yeah, let's go and sell off our old Iron Shield there, and our Steel Gloves as well. And yeah, I would keep the, uh, the yeah, the Wear Buster, the Worm Killer, and the Rune Blade around, just because they're effective against other types of enemies there. So, there you go. Um, let's see, Weapon Shop is right over here. Let's see here. My throw a knife if you have one for your black mage. Um, though we found one already, I believe, so you should be fine there. Uh, definitely want the my throw sword for both of our warriors there. Uh, my throw hammer already have, and the my throw adds it's yeah more powerful than the my throw sword there by two points, but with less accuracy, I wouldn't bother with it. I prefer the uh, swords over axes anyway. So let's see. Uh, yeah, much better accuracy boost than the um, the great axe there. So definitely go with that. And then the Coral, the Coral Sword's already obsolete, so there we go. Also keep it around, though, anyway. And then, yeah, let me go ahead and sell off our Great Axe there. And yeah, keep the Coral Sword, too, by the way. Yeah, now we're getting into the big stuff. Spells. Let's see here. Okay, we definitely want to buy Proterra and Invisera. These cast it's pretty much Protect and Shell, or Protect and uh, Invis on the entire party, which is fantastic. Um, Stona... I wouldn't worry about it too much because um, we have gold needles, but I do want to save a slot for Exit later on. Only white wizards can use that, so we'll have to um, work on getting an uh, upgrade for that. So, there we go. And now we have black magic. Um, Thundaga, I will want to get that um, later, but we can't for right now. Uh, Death, don't bother with. Quake might be useful, but we can't use it. And Stun. Yeah, this is the point of the game where the Red Mage kind of starts to lose out on some usefulness here, at least spell-wise, because, um, you have the higher level spells, you just can't quite use them yet, so, oh well. Yeah, I will want Thundaga for later on, but yeah, we can't use it quite yet anyway, so, oh well, that's fine. You can use level 6 magic now. Oh, no, we can't, not yet anyway. Okay, well, soon enough we'll be able to. But yeah, you will want that for your Black Mage and Red Mage, they're just a heads up, so, there you go. Ooh, what's over here? Hey! You're that guy with the prophecy and the stuff and the thing. Oh. Oh, screen flicker, sorry. So there's 12 sages here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You aren't full of shit! <laughs> well, we got the first one already. So we're already a quarter of the way done. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we did that once already, so... Both past and present? How the hell will they do that? Ugh, wow. They've been around for a really long time, looks like. Yeah, we have no way of getting up to the north yet, so... oh well. Ugh. Yeah, the world is still in kinda bad shape, since, um... The, four, the three fiends are still roaming around here. To the west of this town. Oh, well, we'll head off over there, then. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, hey, well, it was a canoe already. Awesome. But, with our new canoe, you could go off the Mount Gold right now. The game pretty much kind of expects you to do so. But, I'm going to be daring today. I will go ahead and sequence break just a tad, and we will head off to a new area that we're not supposed to go to yet. Not for at least a little while, anyway. 
But yeah, but before I do go over there, I want to buy some more items, actually. Um, yeah, I'm fine with money, so, yeah. Um, I want to buy some more high potions, actually. Just because, yeah, I don't want to use my MP for healing, I prefer to use it for, um, for, um, for Fire Aga and Diaga and all that. But anyway, yeah, with all these shallow pools of water we've been seeing, we can finally cross them with our canoe, so there we go. Yeah, Mount Gold, um, if you want to get there right now, just don't follow the, um, the canal off to the uh, west end, you'll find it eventually. But, um, again, I'm not going there right now, so I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, but we want to go is upward to the north, and not that I kill these trolls anyway. I should have healed up too at the end, but I have tents, so we'll be fine. And I... How a white mage has more HP than a warrior now? What the frick? It's, it's just so weird. Again, not complaining, I'm just I'm just saying. Yeah, we want to make our way off over here. Oh, actually, wait. Um, scratch that. Can I do this? Yes, we can. If you take your boat right next to the uh, shallow pools of water, you can just go right from there to your canoe automatically. So, that's pretty handy, actually. And yeah, new enemies around here. Uh, these guys are actually rather powerful. Most enemies here are, actually. But they give a lot of experience points as well, so you want to take the time to fight all of them here. Yeah, especially the uh, the white crotch, they give a lot of experience points just by themselves. So there we go. Yeah, of course, these guys are also vulnerable to um, thund thunder spell. So if you have thunder, definitely use that here. Yeah, they are rather powerful, so you'll be wanting to heal up quite a bit. Exactly why I put all those high potions earlier because I don't want to use my MP to heal. Yeah, luckily, they're actually not too, too hard. They're just powerful, but not hard or anything. There we go. Oh, I was assuming the thing would die, but I guess not. There we go. Yeah, 1,354 experience points. That is badass. Yeah, I need to go and heal up already here. So, yeah, hi, potions. Yeah, thank God I bought 99 of these things. I will be using them a lot. There we go. Yeah, um, let's see, just follow the path where I'm going here, and then you'll be fine. Ooh, the Neo Chu, this guy's also new. He was also a, a hunt in, um, in 13, wasn't he? Final Fantasy 13, I believe. Wasn't he, like, really, really hard, too? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was. I know there's, um, the Pico Chu, another Ochu there. Um, there's Micro Chus, all that fun stuff there. Yeah, apparently Ochus in 13 are, like, really, really hard. I wouldn't know because I haven't gone that far yet in my file. Although I am at the, um, I am at Pulse already, or Grand Pulse, I should say. Um, yeah, the path up there, dead end. Don't worry about it. Um, this down here will lead to the um, Life Spring Grotto, I think it is. Um, oh no, that's the Whisper Wind Cove. Uh, we won't be back there for quite some time, so don't worry about that one for right now. Yeah, our destination is right over here. This will be one of the hardest areas in the game. Actually, at least it was in the NES version of the game. It's still a bitch today, but shouldn't be as hard as before. But yeah, you definitely want to have um, Fire Aja here. You may actually want to even be higher level than what I am right now. Like, maybe wait until after you uh, beat Mount Gaul to then come over here. But I don't want to. I'm rather impatient, so. Let's go ahead and uh, use a cottage. I have three of them, so why not? And yeah, I want to go ahead and save, too, just in case. Yeah, this trip will be... Well, this will be interesting, to say the least, there. There we go. And we have reached the Cavern of Ice. Yes, you guys know this part here. Luckily, it's nothing too, too difficult here. I'm just gonna... Why don't you Sundara? Yeah, let's just fast-forward through all this crap. What I might do, actually, in regards to fast-forwarding... Um... I actually might use it some more, um, but obviously not for enemies I haven't shown yet. Um, for ones I have shown, I will not. Like these guys here, Cotatrices and Mummies. These guys are vulnerable to fire, or at least most of them are anyway, the Mummies are. And they're also undead. Cotatrices can and will petrify you with their normal attacks. Hopefully they won't, I just got stoned. Damn. Yeah, you might want, want to bring some gold needles, too. I should have mentioned that sooner. Uh, yeah. Luckily, um... Uh, they're not that hard. The Contra Trees have very, very low HP, by the way. 
Oh, I had five rolling needles already. Awesome. Yeah, you might want to bring like 10 or so. Maybe even more than that, actually. Just to be on the safe side. 15 or 20 might be a better idea. See, all these guys are also... Wait, no, they're not. These are blood bones. These guys are not new. Sorry. Uh, yeah, let's go and die out of them in the face. There we go. Simple as that. Yeah, this part actually is pretty straightforward for right now. Actually, in general, it is. Anyway, new enemies here. Um, the Spectre. Um, of course, these guys being undead, vulnerable to fire and um, our Dia spells there. Yeah, you pretty much want to spam those in every single battle in this part. Especially with your Black Mage there. Um, Pandaga, um... I don't think there are too, enemy, too many enemy enemies in here are weak to Thunder, if I recall correctly. But, um, yeah, Fire and Daya are definitely helpful here. There we go. Much better, Mr. Cloud. Yeah, this part is also a very, very awesome place to level grind if you still need to do so. Did I just fight this same exact battle? Um, but anyway, still the same way for it. It's easy enough anyway, so I can leave it in. Yeah, this is also why I bought all those others earlier, just because we'll be MP spamming like crazy, so there we go. Yeah, luckily though, these guys aren't too hard. I I was gonna say, I think they can paralyze you, but there you go, they can with a normal attach there. But still, yeah, they die easily enough there. There we go. And I'm pretty sure what's next up here might be the biggest room in the entire game. I am, I'm not even kidding when I say that. Okay, maybe I am. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think of what kind of joke I can make for that area there. So... Yeah, there are possibilities of plenty. So, oh well. Yeah, anyway, new enemy here, the Ice Gigas. Um, he dies. So there you go. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, let's see here. Um, ooh, there's, there's something up there. Besides an Ice Gigas. Yeah, by the way, I love the Mithril Sword. I just love how it looks. Just like the, uh, the pale blue blade and all that, it looks really, really cool. And uh, yeah, we're kind of um, off balance with levels now since I'm kind of behind, but oh well, I'm not really concerned with that. Okay, I'll tell you right now that just to the right just has clothes in it. It is also a very, very hard battle tile right before it. So, fight it at your own discretion, really. Um, there's there's uh, like dark wizards and dark mages and that sort of thing there. It's really, really hard, so... Um, I... Well, you know what? You know what? Let's go ahead and equip our new uh, flame sword here first. Definitely want that. Um, I'll show it off just because. Um, yeah, definitely save first. Is it okay? It's this one right here. Okay, preemptive strike. Thank God. Thank God. Um, these guys, I don't think they're undead. Um, just a heads up. Um, but yeah, they can use fire auger on your party, I believe. Uh, and yeah, they kinda are kinda have really high defense there. But luckily their HP isn't that great anyhow, so we should be okay here. I got really lucky with the apprentice of attack there, so there you go. Yeah, these guys can and will kill you at a moment's notice, pretty much. So yeah, definitely uh, save before that tile. Just a heads up there. And, yeah, yeah, we can't grab that stone right now anyway. But maybe later we can. Anyway, um, nothing new here, so I'll just go ahead and, uh, Faraga, Fireaga, Diaga, their faces. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'll just go and fast forward through this too. There we go. Yes, yeah, this is when the Red Mage... Well, he finally did some real use here. Now he's showing, uh, punching above his weight sort of thing here. Um, let me save again, actually, just because we have a new enemy. Oh god, two of these frickers. Crap. Crap. Crap in a barrel. Um... Grant of Heal Aura, just because of this. Ice Storm. Um, ow. <laughs> Luckily, they're vulnerable to fire. So yeah, our new Flame Sword will be very, very helpful in this area. Luckily, they're pretty fragile, actually, so there we go. But yeah, a lot of experience points and money, so which is awesome. It was some equipment here as well. Um, yeah, definitely want the Ice Armor on myself there. Not for the defense boost, but yeah, it gives me 23 more evade from the knight's armor there. So, yeah, we definitely want to use that. And I also want to heal up too, real quick. Uh, just fast forward heal. And please be one. Thank you. Yeah, in this case, I won't use Fire Auger or anything. If there were two of them, then yeah, I would. But in this case, only being one, I wouldn't worry about it. So, there you go. 
Yeah, those ice tiles here, by the way, those spiky ones, yeah, they will hurt when you step on them. Just for one HP each step, but, um, just a heads up there. Um, oh wait, um, Fire Aura. Definitely want to use that. And Preemptive Heal Aura. There we go. Yeah, I think also, as long as you're standing on a tile, one of the uh, damaging ones, you won't fight any random battles, so there's that anyway. There we go. Let's see, I want to head down south first, actually. Um, oh, this guy's also new, the Remoraz. Um, nothing too special about him, really, I, I don't think, anyway. Um, he dies, like most things in this game do. Ow, okay, he's pretty powerful, I'll give you that. But, yeah, simple as that. Um, let me heal up here real quick, too. Not here, I want to use Chiraga. There we go, okay. Um, down over here. Might be my favorite room in the entire game, just about. There is but tons of money in this room that someone just left here, apparently. Ooh, Winter Wolves. These guys are actually easy now. Yeah, before these guys were bitches with their uh, Ice Storm and all that bull crap, but not anymore. <laughs> Die. Die, burn! Anyway, um, now that I've calmed down some, got some more money. Yeah, you got lots of money here, like, I think... 30,000 some gil altogether here, something obscene like that, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm already pushing 100,000 gil, that's amazing. Gee, I might be able to beat the entire area in one go, come to think of it. That's kind of off top of as to what I was saying before, but I don't really care. Oh god, this is gonna hurt! Ow, oh, that actually wasn't that bad. But, oh well, oh yeah, some more levels. All right. Here. Yeah, I might go for some more length today, just to beat the entire area in one go. Yeah, it will be very, very handy to try to do this area right now if you can survive. So, there we go. Okay. Uh, we're healed up there. Uh, let's grab this chest for, for an ether. Awesome. And then let's loop around down here. And with 10,000 gil! Why do people just leave money laying around everywhere? Well, I guess they thought it's, it's safe just because no one would, would ever come here for any reason. Besides us, anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for about 20 minutes today. I wouldn't be the entire area today, so... Plus, we're actually almost done anyhow, so there you go. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, this place, if you're not prepared, will kill you probably multiple times. But luckily, I've, I've been pretty lucky so far, so... Yeah, I've heard stories about this part in the uh, NES version, about how annoying it can be. Um, I've seen H.C. Bailey's LP of it as well, that speaks volumes, really. Let's have fast forward to this crap if you guys don't mind. There we go. Yay, level for me. Awesome. Let's see, what have we up here? We have some more money. Awesome. Sleeping bag, that's kind of worthless. And an ice shield. Awesome, let's give that to me. There it is, for some more defense there. Then drop down here for mini boss time, the evil eye. This guy can be really, really hard, but he dies pretty easily enough. He only has, I think, 162 HP, something like that, so a full round of attacks will kill him. So there we go. And for beating him, we get the Levy Stone, but we don't really know what that does actually. For now. For now. Yeah, what I want to do here now, um, I'll meet you guys back over in, um, where should I meet y'all? Um, I'll meet you guys over in Crescent Lake, just a heads up there. And then we'll go from there for next time on Let's Replay Final Fantasy 1. This has been I don't know, Maybe signing off, guys. Have a nice day, and thank you for watching.